One, two, three. That's awesome. They got the right idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't you think we should be out there with them? No. Uh -huh. What are you doing? Going through the Wagoner's Guide and trying to see where we should go. I think I have three spots in mind based on reading up on the South Puget Sound and... What are you thinking? Oro Bay, because we've heard so many good things about it and it apparently has the best sunset views of, or not sunset views, sunrise and just good views of Mount Rainier. Will you get up early enough for sunrise? Um, Possibly. <laughs> um, Gerald Cove, which we've heard awesome things about. Uh, Felucy Bay, which we've heard awesome things about. And then we recently heard about Penrose Point State Park, which is on the peninsula in the Car Inlet. So I think that might be a good one. Yeah, but this, this Wagoner's Guide is definitely, definitely coming in handy right now. Are you excited to explore the South Puget Sound? Uh-huh. Do you think it's going to be... British Columbia and the islands. I think it'd be similar. A lot of fun. Yeah. Now that we have a tentative itinerary set, there's only a few pre-cruising chores to complete before heading south. Before leaving the dock, I hook up our water softening system to fill up the tanks and give Freedom a wash. dry mouth on the the ride up here yeah. you gonna survive you got your mr rogers sweatshirt on so it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood it's a beautiful day for a neighbor would you be mine wow could you be mine <laughs> <laughs> oh all right so it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Sean, how's the how's the grill coming? Well, Heating up nicely? I just fired it up. And it went out. We ended up stopping for the night in Quartermaster Harbor, which is on the south end of Vashon, just beyond Docton Park. And it's a great spot for the night. We were a little we were cutting it a little too short for going under the Tacoma Narrows Bridge because of the current situation. So we figured while it's still light out, we would come here and grill up some dinner. And you are going to put a steak on the grill. You want to get some portobellas on the grill, some salad. Timing-wise, to film on Nero's Bridge would have been good. We just wouldn't have got to our anchorage until like 9 p.m., so. Yeah, just hunker down here for the night, relaxing, and then head to our South Sound anchorages in the morning. Captain's first. Even though I gave you my plate. <laughs> Oh, Sol. Where is little guy? Sully, it's okay. So maybe you'll get something. I'm sure you'll get something since Daddy ate that whole pizza that last time. <laughs> Thank you. 
after a calm night in Quartermaster Harbor, we're heading southbound to our first destination, Gerald Cove. We decided to cruise to our farthest anchorage first before jogging our way back north to Seattle later in the week. Instead of cruising at our usual seven knots, we enjoyed an extra slow two and a half knot cruise under the Tacoma Narrows Bridge because of a strong head current, which only added an extra hour or so to our 33 nautical mile passage south. We are pulling into Gerald Cove. Definitely not what I expected, which nothing ever is what I expect. Um, qu quite busy. Not sure how much Anchorage versus Mooring Ball versus it looks like a little marina here, but definitely secluded, tucked away, very protected if, in case it were to get windy. Luckily there's zero wind right now, so we're off to a good start. We should do a little dinghy cruise with a with a uh, sundowner, and then come back and think about dinner, and then tomorrow uh, do a hike and some exploring. It sounds good. How does that sound? Good deal. Margarita. bundled back up heading out and we're gonna check out what Gerald Cove's all about it's uh it, from the boat it looks really small but then when you look on that map and you look in the wagoners guide it looks like it goes really far back so it'll be interesting to see what it what it's actually like because those maps can sometimes be really deceptive I don't think I'd anchor here I think uh, well where we are it's fine but inside the center bay the mooring balls are packed pretty tight together this guy managed to find a place to anchor, but other than that, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of places so far. We'll see. Maybe when we get further back, it opens up, but it also gets shallow too. So I think where we're at is a good spot. You felt a raindrop? You felt a raindrop? I think so. Yeah, this little bay keeps going and going and just when you think it's just gonna end and drop off to land, it keeps going. Do you have any idea how deep the water is? No clue. I'm guessing it's pretty shallow. Our next thing you'll have a depth finder.
With over 650 feet of dock space, only half of that moorage is currently available for day use only at the park dock closest to the cove's entrance. And if you plan on anchoring, beware of the shallow spits deeper in the cove. If you don't play it safe, you might find yourself aground. Breakfast is served. Well, that's mighty nice of you. Yeah. I could get used to this. Mm. Homemade? Yeah, that's why it took me so long. Maybe tomorrow I'll do chocolate chip. Nice. I'm just doing a mimosa. And just in time for us to take a walk, check out a little bit more of Gerald Cove. The sun's deciding to come out. It looks like it's gonna be a nice day. I think tomorrow Memorial Day is gonna be rainy, but today and everything around Memorial Day looks to be really nice. So it'll be good to get out and do a little more exploring and, and see more of this area. We also might check out the marina and the general store that we read about in the Wagoner Guide. And I feel kind of bad. I called earlier to see if they were open and the nice little lady who sounded like a little old lady, answered the phone, and I accidentally hung up on her. Sorry, but it'll be nice to see what the general store is like, what the uh, marina has to offer. I think there's fuel and pump out services if you needed them. Luckily, we don't need any of that right now. Um, so yeah, see what Gerald Cove's all about. You guys all ready? Ready. Where are you gonna wait for mommy? Uh, probably not. Someone's ready to go. Somebody uses pea patch without a demo from that guy. Good boy, buddy. This is a low tide for sure. Good job, bud. This is nice. Uh-huh. So, right, left, straight. Maybe yeah, okay. left? Cool. So we came from the dock, which is right there, came up here to the parking lot, with which is all closed off, and then we'll probably just do the big loop. Doing the big loop? Uh-huh. Are you ready, Sully? You love grass lately. Come on, bud. Gerald Cove Marine State Park is lush and beautiful and everything a cruiser could want after hours or days on the water. The well-groomed trail offers one mile of scenic hiking packed full with what the Pacific Northwest is known for, 50 shades of green. The park offers over 67 acres to explore, including 3,500 feet of saltwater shoreline, great for fishing, crabbing, swimming, water skiing, jet skiing, diving, or just a relaxing walk at low tide.
Okay, it's almost super low. It's almost the lowest tide of the day, and this is quite the incline or decline, depending on how you look at it. Oh, I lived. I didn't fall. That's, that's good. Were you worried? No, not too. open? So it's going up to the lunch, or going up to the house for lunch, be back soon. Huh. Walk this way a little bit. Here's my favorite map again. Came from Seattle, from Shoal Shoal Bay, all the way down through the Narrows Bridge. And I think we went through here and there. There's just endless places to travel to. Well, unfortunately, they never came back from lunch, so we didn't get to check out the Gerald's Cove Marina store. So we're gonna go head back to the boat and Make a snack and enjoy the sunshine. Today is just one of those perfect days in the Pacific Northwest where you're reminded of why you live here. So much of the year, it's you do start to question, why, why do I live here? It, it's raining again. And on nice, beautiful days like this at Anchor, you're just reminded of why this place is so special. Get apart! Okay! One, One two, three! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> they got the right idea. Mm -hmm. Don't you think we should be out there with them? Uh -huh. <laughs> Sully, they knew who you were. They said hi. Thanks for joining us in Gerald Cove. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on our next adventure, and of course, smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. And you know what? If you didn't like the video, be sure to like the fact you didn't like it. See you next time.